impressive with some of the moves? Uh, it's been a lot of moves for sure. Um, I think what, what stood out to me most is some guys you don't know what team they're on. <laughs> um, with all the moves that's happened, there's been so many moves that float under the radar. Uh, just because there were so many big moves. You know, you're talking Kyrie, Jimmy, PG. Like, I don't know if we've ever had a summer where those many top guys are moving on the move. And so, Chris Paul, like, and so I think, um, you know, the things that stood out, stood out most to me is just the amount of guys that were on the move and the amount of big names that were on, that were on the move. We very rarely see that. And, when you look at it, none of them were free agents. They, they were all trades. And so that's um, that's very interesting. How much of that do you think made it clear you wanted to leave and that he ended up leaving? I wouldn't necessarily say it surprised me. Um, I'd say more than anything, just the respect level that I have for him. Like, that's tough to do. I don't think, you know, when people take into account that he put so much pressure on himself by doing that. But the willingness to do that, knowing the pressure that comes with that and saying, I'm ready to do it, let's do it. Um, that's what stood out to me more than anything. It's not the surprise of, hey, Kyrie wants to lead. That happens all the time. It happened with Shaq and Kobe. Right. Um, and it's happened with a ton of other guys in the NBA uh, over the course of the years. But for him to be willing, willing to step out and say, hey, man, this, you know, you know, most a lot of people would say LeBron's the greatest player in the world. To say, and it's, like I don't say this in disrespect to LeBron, but in speaking to Kyrie, to say I don't want to play with him no more. I want my own thing right. because you have to deliver with that. Right. And he's you basically saying, to put okay, a target yeah, on. okay, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm ready to deliver. And that's I mean that's big. That says a lot. And and in saying that, like once like I said once again, he wasn't a free agent, so he could have gotten traded anywhere. Right. But he's pretty much saying, I don't care where I go, I'm going to make it happen. That's, I think that's, you know, um, that says a lot about who he is as a competitor, um, who, his character. Like, that says a lot about him. Do you, do you think that kind of the way the, the sport has evolved, going all the way back to even when LeBron went to Miami in the first place, do you think that it, it's kind of ushered in a new era of guys being willing to say, hey, like, I'm going to take my career into my own hands as opposed to, getting drafted somewhere and, and just like making it work like that's so. it for a long time? Um, I think LeBron made it okay. You know, I think he opened up a new door for guys. Um, he gave guys a voice, you know, willing to use that voice. Right. And um, I'm not even sure at that time he knew what he was doing, you know, because there was so much backlash with it and all other things, but it really opened up new doors for guys. Maybe he did know what he's doing. I don't know. Um, but like he, he did something. Rock 10 and their partnership with the Warriors has just as my partnership with the Warriors have been this summer. You know, there's a premium on great brands coming together. So. <laughs> this is what I was dealing with. Uh, but Andre, it has to excite you in the sense where you, you hosted the Players Technology Summit. And